Matt, I'm outside the Pettigrass Funeral Home in Auburn, where the community has been gathering all day to pay their final respects to Jenna Hinman. I remember meeting the Hinmans myself about two months ago, and they truly touched my heart, and they've touched the hearts of so many people here in central New York. Hundreds have been filtering in and out all day, some friends and some complete strangers, all looking to support the Hinmans during this difficult time. I spoke with a funeral director who says the family is doing well, considering the heartbreaking circumstances. We had a private calling hours uh, last evening, and those couple hours really uh, gave them time to see her, to be with her, and I think that really helped, made it a lot easier today. Calling hours continue until 8 o'clock tonight, and they are open to the public. And then tomorrow, the family will lay Jenna to rest in a private funeral. If you weren't able to attend the calling hours but want to send your condolences, we have contact information for the Hinman family on our website, cnycentral.com. Reporting live from Auburn, I'm Dora Scheidel. Matt, back to you. Thank you, Dora. We appreciate that. So nice of people to turn out to support the family and nice that they had that private time last night, too. You can read more about Jenna's courageous fight against this rare cancer and more from the notes from her close friends and her family by going to Prayers for Jenna on our, you can see that right now on Facebook. That's her Facebook page and also more details on our website, cnycentral.com.